Hi Capricorn, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is a weekly reading for May 31st through June 6th, 2021. And I have had an interesting week. Well, first of all, my cat Hermes, who I love, um, I raised him as a baby last summer. He, I found him out on the hot pavement in June. So I bottle fed him and then I ended up with his siblings and I bottle fed them. And I found them homes, but I kept him. <clears throat> and he was a great hunter. He used to bring me like three or four snakes a week. I kept going, Hermes, quit bringing me snakes. Just don't hurt my snakes. And if I caught them before he killed them, I'd grab them, I'd run them outside. But he kept killing them. So this week I'm sitting on the couch, I'm having my first cup of coffee. And I hear someone come in the dog door. And then I hear squawk, squawk, squawk. So I look and he's got a live bird. So I get up and I race over there and I fight him for the bird. And then the bird's flying all over my house and he keeps trying to get the bird and I keep trying to get the cat. So finally I lock the cats all in the back room and then the birds flying all over the house. I never did catch the bird. Luckily, I would leave the back door open and then eventually I locked the dogs in the backyard and I left the front door open. And I think the bird got out, hopefully. But then I had to make a decision about Hermes because I didn't feel like I could do this again. So I found Hermes a new home. Now these people seem really good. They're an older couple and they, I check their vet references, everything checks out. They're, they seem like a really good couple. I think it's perfect, but I'm sad, just saying. So the first card I get for y'all is the Four of Swords. Now, I didn't used to love this card, but I've grown to love it. This is an evaluation card. See, this knight is laying there and he is in repose after a battle. After a battle, a knight would come back and just lay there and evaluate. So this is, and there's no judgment, no recrimination. When I'm seeing that because it's in the position for you, I'm feeling like there's some things in your life that you need to look at, that maybe you need to do some shadow work, or there's just some things that have been holding you back and you need to evaluate them. Also, you have a lot of choices. A lot of things are up in the air. See, he's got all these things to choose from, but you've got to choose the right one. You know, he's got a snake, like Hermes brought me, or a flower, or a wreath. So pick the right thing for you. When you're faced with a choice right now, make sure it's the right choice. And you're going to start seeing your ships come in. You're going to start seeing, you've been putting out the fruits of your labor. You're going to start seeing things come back to you. You know, when you plant a garden, you put the, the seed in and then you cover it with dirt. And then it goes up, 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 up. And you see a little baby plant. And then you water it some more. It goes, pew, 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 pew. gets bigger. And eventually you get it, you know, flowers or fruit or veggies, but you got to put in the work. So you've been putting in the work and now you're going to start seeing that come back. The next thing you, this is the Ace of Pentacles. This card is all about starting a new job or starting a new project, starting a new business. This is going to be a successful business for you a successful project, a successful job. So it's going to start happening. You also get the Queen of Pentacles. And this is a feminine energy that is all about getting the job, being a self-made woman, getting the promotion. I think things are going to come together for you financially and in your career, in your business, things like that. And you furthermore get the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about evaluation. 
he's been doing a lot of work and getting things done and just working really hard, but he also has to evaluate. So right now you're in a whole place where you need to just evaluate what's going on. Where do you want to go from here? What do you want to do? I think you've got decisions to make. And as you make these decisions, stop and listen to your intuition. You know what you need to do. And if you don't, your spirit guides know. And what I find sometimes for me is before I go to bed, I'll ask my spirit guides to show me what I need to know. Okay, now I'm gonna pull a card from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. And we get Imrama. And it says, where are you being called to journey to? So that could be a bunch of different things. It could literally mean a trip, but I think in this case is where are you being called to make these changes? What are you being called to do in your life? I'm also pulling a card from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Imagination. Envision your new reality. You know, if you're trying to figure out, you know, to change jobs or change careers or add something to your business, open a new business, something like that, start manifesting it. Visualize yourself having these things happen. I have been visualizing a lot of different things. I, man I am manifesting my store. That is... I'm manifesting that. And just like, I want you to start manifesting what you need. But first, you need to know what you need. I know, that's a kicker, huh? Sometimes you got to stop and figure it out. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. I do Reiki, energy healing, tarot, and the Akashic Records. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.